everybody, welcome back to another product review video. Today I present you the Apple Maker B21. A compact 65% retro wireless mechanical keyboard. The keyboard is on Indiegogo, so you can pre-order it today. For more details, I will have a link in the description below. Since this is a prototype unit, there may be some small changes to the final product. This keyboard has a retro ergonomic design with an easy accessible knob and multimedia key controls. You get two rotary knobs, the left knob is for volume adjustment, press down to mute or unmute, and rotate to change the volume. Another knob on the top right side, rotate to increase and decrease backlight brightness, press down to toggle between the different backlight effects. They do rotate infinitely, meaning they don't stop or lock when it reaches 100% volume. It's also easy detachable. The first multimedia button right here is to easily change the previous song played. The second button is to pause and play songs. The dirt button is to skip to the next song. These functions are especially useful if you enjoy listening to music while studying or gaming, which is very easy to access with a click of a button. The fourth button is to open the calculator then these three buttons are for device selection. And finally, the last button is to toggle between PC or Mac layout. The Apple Maker B21 can connect both via Bluetooth or with a USB Type-C cable. At the top, you have a switch to toggle between wired or wireless, and you also get a USB Type-C port. The B21 comes with Bluetooth 5.0 functionality, which makes connecting to multiple devices a breeze. An impressive feature is the 4000mAh battery, which means you can use this keyboard for many hours. Let's talk about the layout and build. The Apple Maker B21 is a 65% keyboard that has 68 keys. At the back, you have four rubber feet and a bump that raises the keyboard's angle. A 65% layout is really awesome. You get the arrow keys and a few additional navigational keys at the right side. As you can tell, you don't get the function row and a numpad. But these keys are accessed through shortcuts. For example, if you want to use the function row, just hold Fn plus 1 for F1, Fn plus 2 for F2. It's that simple and easy to use. The case is hard plastic with round edges and a glossy finish all around. The keycaps are also PPT SA keycaps. I believe they have changed the height of the bottom row to make it easier to use. As you can see, the bottom row is low compared to the other rows. There are some inconsistency in the prints. Not a big problem to me, but hopefully they fix this. The backlight only has one color, white, which is fine since it suits the retro theme. The Apple Maker B21 comes with Cherry MX switches. The MX Blue switch is clicky with a distinct noise. The MX Brown switch is similar to the blue but is much quieter. The MX Red switch is linear in feel and does not have a tactile bump like the blue or brown switch. The red switch is also much quieter than the blue and brown switch which makes it ideal for those who are interested in a quiet keyboard. I have Cherry MX Browns in mind. I think this is my second time trying these switches. 
They do sound scratchy as expected because I have seen so many memes on these switches. Unfortunately, this keyboard is not hot swap, so you can't remove the switches. And for some reason, there is a lot of ping when typing. Let's do a typing test. The reason why people don't like browns is that while they're advertised as tactile, you can barely feel it when actually typing, so it comes off more like a scratchy linear switch. The product dimensions are 317 by 148 by 45.8 millimeter. The product weight is 890 grams, so a bit heavy right there. Let's go test it out in a game. Okay, so I just got a good game using this keyboard and overall, I'd say this is a keyboard for those who want a nice retro dim keyboard on their desk at an affordable price. Unfortunately, there is no hot swap, so if you're looking for a hot swap keyboard, you can check out other Apple Micro keyboards like the GK68XS, the Ajaz K620T 2.0, the GK96, and so much more. You can check out their website in the description below. And if you're thinking about getting the Retro B21, you can check out the link in the description below if you want more information. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Have a wonderful gaming day. Bye and hope to see you on the next video.